How do y'all veggie butts, Smiver, Smithies, FPM viewers, and YouTube viewers alike? This is your Redneck Host, FPM. I'm here with my brother from Crestwater M4TH. We're back here in Pictorio. We're up here at our uranium mining line. Uh, M4TH actually went ahead and put four more drills on, and he's now putting in uh, speed production modules in there. And I think you're also putting in uh, the production productivity modules in as well. It's already got a natural productivity in there from the last research we did. But the speed actually helps it along a lot faster, as you'll see. We get a little extra boost every so often. And all this is now keeping up with us running two of the centrifuges. But I'm going to shut up my Remel at Importations and hello to his Vegemites. Good day, Vegemites. N48 Jerry here, back with some more Factorio. All right, now you did explain to them what we're doing, right? What's currently going on? Uh, I kind of yeah, had my headset off for a minute. So. So, okay. Because, yeah, we've got four more drills added to, the, to this to speed up and get this, got this one up and running again. And just putting in some modules. Yep. And as you see, we've got 1.1 K on the 238, and we only got 7 235, which is fine. But uh, we brought our tanks up here, you know, just like, okay, let's go ahead and get something going, but. Uh, if you want to, I mean, I don't know how much more stuff you got on you. If you want to make any extra productivity modules. That's all I can uh, make at the moment. Unless, yeah, I could probably add, see how much. All right, well, I threw an efficiency uh, module in on this second centrifuge. So that it kind of reduces down on our power consumption, which... We really don't have to worry about that much. You know? But every little bit helps sometimes. And really, they actually have three slots. So if you wanted to throw in, like, three speed modules or two speed modules and a productivity module, or one of each, balance it out, it... It's really up to you because, you know, it's one of the things. Now, uh, I'm going to be looking at something here. Uh, let's see. What do we need for that? Okay. I'm going to queue up two things here. so that we can get to the yellow science pack and hopefully we got enough stuff down there to be able to do it but we've also got our uh, construction robots so say I shoot M4TH's vessel By extent, <laughs> it'll go and repair him. Repair it. Just like if M48 shoots anything up here, unless it's with the rocket, <laughs> which hopefully he ain't gonna shoot nothing up here with no rocket. Everything should be alright. Now, I'm going to drive carefully through the power lines. I'm gonna go ahead back down there to the main base and uh, see what's going on. So, I'll see you down there whenever you get down there. <laughs> There's that rocky hit, and he, it doesn't replace. <laughs> it doesn't get fixed. 
That's kind of funny, you know? The fact that something that you damage with your vessel, like natural uh, item or entity, does not get fixed and cannot be fixed. You just have to literally, like, break it down. It's just funny. To me, anyways. And I like the tanks. I want to see what happens when we have the spider tron, though. See what it does. And we were talking about uh, taking on or boxing in a uh, nest and then shooting rockets in at it and seeing how well that works. How long it take them to break through. Yeah. Because that would be it. When seeing how all the drawings work together. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally like in some of the other games with boxing and play and like how quick you can do yeah. it. Yeah. That they yep. don't even realize. It's like I thought I broke that. Nope. <laughs> Alright, I'm slow rolling it through here at the main part of the base. Alright. I made it into the center. <laughs> Without wrecking into anything. Yay me. All right, so now we're waiting on copper. Uh, let's see, that's electric furnace. Do we have any electric furnaces here? This time we got extra electric. For instance, or somewhere. Because I don't want to have to make them bastards. Uh, well, good thing I got the plastic nearby. Copper's going to be the hard thing. Unless you got some extra copper on you, M4TH. Yeah, only 31. Uh, well. You're gonna need 25 to make one electric furnace. So I may wind up borrowing from uh, this line. Let's see. That'll give me four. And I'm gonna need some more iron. Which I'm needing. More than that, so there we go. Now, time to go down here and grab from our rubber line our little condominium line. All right, that makes three. Great, I'm needing to make some more stone. Let's see. Or get stone. You get stone on you? Or Hold up. <laughs> stacks, stacks of it. Alright, well I just need that, that, and you don't have a furnace on you, do you? No, you do not. Like a basic furnace. Yeah. I just need a basic furnace. Because what I'm going to do is let's see I want the blueprint that and call it copper line
And there's that. And let's see. Flip that around. Great. That's going to be an odd way of doing that. Oh well. I'll figure it out. Alright, so what we need now is those auto miners. Can you queue up any? Yep. Or six of them. Alright, well, just need. Well, six. I can queue up three if you queue up three. Okay. <laughs> and watch him just place it. <laughs> yep. You'll need more power line. Is this one here no it's down lower okay hang on all right so need a little bit more on the line there There we go. Alright. Really, I need to cut that up a little bit. You know pretty much what I'm doing, don't you? Yeah. Really, I can only make one. Now it shouldn't take that long. Start filling this line back up and it really cranking out the process. <laughs> Now 
That's a lot better. <laughs> Had to uh, make it a little jank, but can you blame me? No. I mean, it, <laughs> it's one thing though, it's, it works. Yep. When it works, it works. You know, at least we know that that copper is now getting filled up pretty quickly. Seems how it's full up on everything else. Batteries are good. Motor over there is 73. Let's see, what are we out of? We're out of iron surprisingly enough that's kind of funny ain't it hmm. pretty soon we're gonna be out of copper up there <laughs> but I'll have two sections to pull off of which is just kind of real funny to me yeah, this top one's only got 9.6k left before, well, yeah, it will have to be moved over. Yep. The rest have like about 58, 50 or so k. Sure. Yep. That's another reason why for the go ahead and placing over. All right, mm. we're about to have the uh, science, I think it is, or something. All right, uh, what was I needing that for? I don't forgot. What was I needing that iron for? <laughs> I don't forgot. I just grab an iron. Oh, yeah, now I remember. I was like, I know it was for something. <laughs> My attention span. Lord of mercy. Ah, okay. My brain is settled. I'm good. Library. Now, if you put them into the game blueprints, does it like swap back over or something? Like go between like games and stuff? Or is it yeah. like my blueprints? Was in the my blueprints where I've deleted that one. But yeah, I've only just got yeah game blueprints. Okay. Well, I've put both mine into the uh, game blueprints, copper line, and the purple science pack. Yeah. One. Yeah. I think it's like yeah they're shared, whereas my blueprints are. You know, your own private personal ones. Yeah. If you look at the game blueprints, you should see Purple Science Pack and Copper Line, right? Yeah. Alright. Now. I am inquisitive. We have the processing unit. The low density structure. And the three times utility science pack. Which, good lord, look at that as far as raw. Yep. 
Yeah. And you can only make, <laughs> look at the uh, processing unit. You can only make it in the assembling machines. Because it requires sulfuric acid. <sighs> okay, well, I guess it's a good thing that we got this line up here then, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Preemptively done. <laughs> Each one of those holds 25K. There's 100K, 200K, 225,000 units of sulfuric acid that can be held up here. That is crazy. But, what do you expect from a redneck? I mean, you got any questions, just come over here and take a look at this. Now, I could, I could hook back into this line over here and make us some sulfuric acid over here. And then pipe it in over there, but then what would be the use in having that reservoir and having it delivered from down south up here? See what I'm saying? There really didn't much use, would there? But if we're going to be chewing into it, into our reserve tanks pretty heavily to make those science packs, I would much rather have an independent outside source feeding it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I'll show you how far off this is. Uh, let's see. I ain't got my tank on me. Let's pick up our tanks and take them over here to this other side. So I can show you how far I've had to go. Alright. You can't run through them. <laughs> Alright. Hop. All right, now we're gonna follow this line back. I'm gonna wait for you to kind of catch up here. You'll see what I mean. It was back in here pretty far. And right here it is. This is my setup. I got them all piped into one line. All except for this one here, 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 and this one right here. And... I'm trying to figure out if there's any more over here. I think I done uncovered it all, but all this was in amongst trees. Yeah, that would be all of them. So, you see what I've had to uncover. If I was going to put some more in there, I would. Well, you see the substation here. You see how it's covering all of that? In fact, I could put yeah. one more in right here and it still work. If you look down there towards that bottom 
left hand corner you'll see that there's one more uh, oil right there that's capable of being tied in so yeah that being the case I may just take another substation after running you know the big cables down to over here and making the yellow science packs out this way but that's kind of far off from where the needle you know So, that's the reason why I said I was thinking about tying back in on the other side over there. Let's kind of get back up here. I need to find, let's see, I should stone, stone. And I'm not going to find any coal out this way. I only have like one piece of coal on me and I'm going to be out of fuel for so, putting in wood. Yeah, for what it looks like, yeah, there's none or closest one is probably that one. <laughs> Way up one is, near that lake. Yep. So, what I'm thinking about doing is, is either come back in and here, in this area over here, somewhere. And tying it in and kind of shift it up and over. Hang on, I'm gonna see if this thing will break that big enough there. And pick up some coal. Nope, we just picked up stone. Sorry. I thought you were out of the way. My bad. I really didn't mean to hit you. I thought you were out of the way. At least it's like they make they make it like the other games where. Yeah, I'll, I'll take you right, to your body. Right. Hop in. I'll take you to your body. Yeah, where the shield doesn't protect against that. Yep. Yeah. There's your body. I said, I, I did not mean for that to happen, man. At least I didn't shoot you. You know? But yeah, I mean, what do you think about me putting it in back over in here I don't think it really I mean the sulfuric acid mid chemical plant we need sulfur water and iron plate we got iron not too far off so that's not a problem the water, I got a water line that's tying in over here on this side too, so that's not a problem. The sulfur is the issue. The sulfur has to be made in a chemical plant with water and petroleum. Well, we got petroleum. 
right down here. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Well, we got like 1K in each one of these things, so we got a total of 6K just sitting right here. And we got almost 6K on the uh, light oil. So, all I need to do is really hook up a chemical plant to the petroleum gas and hook water up to it. Which is not an issue because I can hook in a little sideline, bring it over and up. So I tell you what, let me go ahead and get started on that. Uh, let's see, 27.5 and 5, okay. Look at this. Okay, what is your issue here? That's the reason. That was on the empty scale. Alright. That's the reason why I was hanging around. Alright. Now we're all good. Okay. So, uh, copper, iron, you'll need quite a bit of iron, steel, which I have two chests of it up here. Uh, let's see, two chemical plants. Now I'm going to need quite a bit of piping. Do that. And what else do we need? Chemical acid. Water, okay. So I'm going to need to do two, quite a bit of pumping, or piping, and some power poles. Alright, so now, I'm going to have you piped in. here and then you are going to be piped in here because you're going to be making sulfuric acid you are going to be making the sulfur which actually I need to bring that in a little bit closer there we go sulfuric acid Okay. There's that. And then
There we go. And there's that. <coughs> now, uh, let's see. Brain just drew, but my brain just drew a blank. Should have everything now to kind of get this set up. some uh, iron yep I've got some uh, put it in that chest right up there process and we should start having yep there we go sulfuric acid being made right over here how about that our own little private reservoir over here as far as for stuff that we build with not what we need to did mine with. Alright, so what's what's holding up really? Engines again. The engines is holding us up at gunpoint. Leaving two stacks and 41 on the motors over here. We're going to have to get more stuff to make them up if we're going to build anything else. But we're already over that 30 minute mark, everybody. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And thank you for coming and visiting for a short spell. And sitting in the rockers with us. Throwing some lines in the water, let Bobbers Bob drink some shine. Hopefully, y'all come back for another visit. Y'all come back now. You hear? Later.